Welcome to the latest episode of the Zotac Video Podcast. Today we'll be taking a look at our new Zotac GeForce GTX 460 graphics card, the newest addition to our award-winning GeForce GTX 400 series lineup. The Zotac GeForce GTX 460 is powered by NVIDIA's latest GeForce GTX 460 graphics processor that delivers a perfect combination of performance and energy efficiency. The GTX 460 graphics processor packs 336 unified shaders paired with 1GB of GDDR5 video memory connected via a wide 256-bit memory interface. The GTX 460 fully supports the latest Microsoft DirectX 11 API and supports hardware tessellation. Hardware tessellation lets game developers drastically increase details in supported games with little impact on performance. We'll let the results speak for themselves using the Unigen Heaven benchmark, which is a new game engine that supports the latest Shader Model 5 and hardware tessellation. The video on the left is rendered using only DirectX 11 without tessellation, while the video on the right has hardware tessellation enabled. With tessellation enabled, the details are more pronounced with greater definition, whereas everything appears completely flat without tessellation. Moving back to the card, we've equipped it with DisplayPort, Dual Dual Link DVI, and HDMI outputs with digital audio output. We also include a DVI to VGA adapter for connectivity with analog displays as well. The Zotac GeForce GTX 460 is also SLI ready, which lets you combine two matching GTX 460 together for nearly twice the performance increase. The Zotac GeForce GTX 460 is shorter than our higher end GTX 470 series and previous generation GTX 285. It is only about 210 millimeters long, which lets it fit better in tightly packed cases. Additionally, we also include two dual Molex to 6 pin PCI Express power adapters a Zotac case badge to show everyone the contents of your PC, a driver CD with our Zotac Boost Premium Software Bundle, which includes V-Reveal, a 30-day trial of NeuroVision Extra, Cool Iris, XVMC Media Center, and Kylo Web Browser. And to further sweeten the bundle, we include a full copy of the latest Prince of Persia, the Forgotten Sands game. Now let's pop the Zotac GeForce GTX 460 into our test system for some benchmarking fun. The Zotac GeForce GTX 460 fits into a PCI Express X16 slot and requires dual 6-pin PCI Express power connectors. We recommend a quality power supply capable of supplying at least 450 watts to support a single card. SLI configurations may require more power. We'll be using Metro 2033, Just Cause 2, and Battlefield Bad Company 2, which are all DirectX 11 based titles, to demonstrate the performance capabilities of the card. Bad Company 2 is the latest game from EA Games' Digital Illusion CE Studios. The game is DirectX 11 optimized. You can expect around 47 frames per second at a resolution of 1080p and high quality settings with 4x AA and 16x AF settings when playing Bad Company 2 on a Zotac GeForce GTX 460 graphics card. Just Cause 2 is a sequel to the 2000 hit from Eidos Interactive and Avalanche Studios, and published by Square Enix. The game takes gamers to a fictional island in Southeast Asia with an open world. Playing Just Cause 2 on a Zotac GeForce GTX 460 results in a smooth 36 frames per second at a resolution of 1080p with all the details maxed out, including 4x AA and 16x AF. Metro 2033 is a survival horror game developed by 4A Games and takes place in a post-apocalyptic Moscow. The game is one of the most visually stunning and taxing DirectX 11 games available. Although the game is very demanding, the Zotac GeForce GTX 460 is able to run smoothly at around 40 frames per second at a resolution of 720p with high quality settings and physics enabled. And the game looks simply stunning. And that concludes this episode of the Zotac Video Podcast. Thank you for joining us.